Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Act 1 of the game called Broken Age. If you didn't see part number one, I recommend going to watch that first, otherwise you will have no idea why I'm up here in the clouds with a bunch of birds. I would try and explain what happened in the last episode, but um, really you got to experience it for yourself. <laughs> uh, this is an awesome game uh, made by Double Fine, and uh, yeah, I'm having, I'm having so much fun of it so far. This is going to be a bit more of a laid-back commentary. Uh, if you saw the uh, the last episode, uh, you'll know that. Um, I'm kind of just sort of playing through the game, experiencing it. I'm a little bit more chilled out than I am uh, in maybe some of my other videos. And uh, I kind of just want to take you through the story with me so you can hear my uh, reaction to it. Uh, but of course, with a game like this, it's always uh, going to be way better uh, when you play it for yourself. So I do definitely recommend uh, yeah, picking up the game and uh, having your own little adventure in it. And oh, careful! If I just stay on the on the clouds, do I just, do I just think... What happens if I just sink through? Oh, oh, am I going to be okay? I just fell through. There we go. I'm going to get saved. We have games like this. We have point and click adventure games. Uh, pretty much uh, since uh, LucasArts early, uh, early games. Uh, yeah, they don't let you die. There's no way to, to fail the game, which is which is good for me. Who's, um, yeah, I fail games pretty regularly. <laughs> and uh, this is exactly what it would be like in real life if you were standing on a cloud, by the way. You'll just slowly drift under underneath like that until you, you go and try and stand back up. <laughs> anyway, uh, there's a few crazy characters here. Well, I assume they're crazy. They look pretty crazy. They got a, they're got they wearing a bird's nest, so <laughs> let's uh, speak to them and uh, try and find out uh, what is with this, this village in the clouds. Uh, hi, my name's Vela. What's yours? Hi, my name's Vela. What's yours? I... I am Walt Er. Walter? Walt Er. <laughs> With an apostrophe? We admire lightness in all things. No extra baggage, no extra letters. I'm Ch. <laughs> Excuse me? You're Ch? <laughs> and Walt Duh. Who are you guys? We're the preeners, of course. We take care of the nests and keep stuff floating. Super important. Uh, I guess so. Who's Jesse? That big blue oligol you rode in on. Oh, really? I guess I owe her a thank you. Actually, take my advice. Stay away. I'm guessing at some point I'm gonna need to get that big gold egg of her. I just got a feeling now. <laughs> Can you guys help me? I need to get back to sugar bunting right away. You're from sugar bunting? So that's why you smell like frosting. What's the big rush? Stay here. And float a while. Sounds like quite good fun, actually. I just escaped the Maiden's Feast, and now Mog Chathra is going to eat the town. You what? Why would you ever run away from such an honor? Such a joyous occasion. Hopefully the upcoming ceremonies in Shell Mound go more smoothly. We just had our Maiden's Feast yesterday. It was awesome! Brother Lightbeard was very pleased. Good luck topping that one, <laughs> Smell Mound. I guess this is just something that everyone does, just even these floating sky villagers have these maiden feasts. It's wrong, I tell you, it's all wrong. I'm gonna put an end to this. I'm gonna fight the Molkopra. Well, I just thought maybe we could fight Mog Chathra instead of feeding it. Oh, that sounds horrible. Why would anyone want to hurt such a noble, endangered creature? Poor Mog Chathra! How has this Mog managed to convince everyone that, like, it, it's a good thing? going around and just eating people. How, how is everyone so, not even just accepting, just happy about the fact that there's a big monster going around eating them all? Look, I just need to get home right away. We have no way off this cloud, because no one wants to leave. Mom says she does, but she doesn't really. Right, Dad? I don't want to get off. I need to get to Mog Chathra, quick. Good idea. If you sacrifice yourself to Mog Chathra, that might set things right. He's very picky, though. And you'd have to compete with the other maidens of Shell Mound. Hmm. I guess if I go to Shell Mound and uh, be a maiden there, then that's going to be a, a chance to fight it. Did you say that the next Maiden's Feast was in Shell Mound? Yes. It's so sad. I mean, they're always trying to compete with us, but... Oh, please. Shell Mound girls smell like old seaweed. <laughs> right, let's How try and get there. How do I get there. to Shell Mound? Um, follow the stink? <laughs> 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 let's go back to talking about Mariloft. I knew this magical place would win you over eventually. I do actually quite like it up here. I mean, it's competing with a, a place which has just got cakes everywhere. So in my books, it's not going to win. But it's still uh, quite a nice place. 
Uh, don't the bends turn to nest? The bends? The birds tend to nest? Don't the birds tend the nest? Well, these birds are not exactly model homemakers. Left to their own devices, they'll lay too many eggs or get too fat. And then, poof, they'll sink right through the clouds. Don't blow, stay afloat. Ah. Uh, I guess uh, a lot of the people that were eating lots of cakes in uh, my town wouldn't do too good here. They just sink through the floor. <laughs> Can you tell me about Brother Lightbeard? Happy to. Harmony Lightbeard is a brilliant philosopher, spiritualist, and buoyancy instructor. We have followed Brother Lightbeard up to the clouds to learn about his philosophy of lightness. Dad gave him all our money. Quiet, chit. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a surprise for Mom's birthday. Uh, <laughs> I think he's trying to cover something up. Uh, why shouldn't I talk to Jessie? That's quite a nice bird. I mean, she saved my life. <laughs> she can't be all bad. Why shouldn't I talk to Jessie? Well, one of her eggs went missing when she was out. She's totally freaking out. Yes, I don't think the golden egg substitute we put in her nest is fooling her. Oh, it's not a real golden egg. Poor Jessie. Where did her egg go? It's against the Preener Code to point fingers. But Gus was on cleaning duty, and it wouldn't be the first time that old fell so- Shh, son. Remember what Brother Lightbeard said. Loose beaks cause leaks. <laughs> uh, so I guess I need to- if I bring the, the egg back to Jessie, maybe as a favor she's going to fly me to the, the next place where the, the Maiden's Feast is going to be. How are we floating on these clouds anyway? Volume! No, son. Try again. Jeez. Um, okay. Uh, circumference? Area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all about surface area. Pounds per square inch. Any idea where I can find Jesse's egg? If Gus really did take it, well, he is a little... dense. Mentally and physically. <laughs> he probably fell through the clouds and went splat in the forest. Well, I'll see you two later. Farewell. Stick to the paths. Stay on the twigs or you'll eat a pig. No freestyling chit. Sorry, Pop. <laughs> right, so I guess I need to find this. Was it Gus was his name? Uh, who might have the eggs. Can I just take one of these eggs? And just Those paint it gold. Those don't look like Jessie's. Ooh, Better off. leave them alone. Need to be careful where I stand. Uh, there's someone else up here. I guess that is uh, his wife over here, I assume. And uh, apparently she doesn't really like it up here. Cloud shoes she's selling. <laughs> Cloud shoes. Careful. Ah. Whoa. Oh no. I got a spare knife, I don't I? I told you to be careful. It's okay. It's just my whole livelihood is gone, is all. I'm sunk. <laughs> I like her, her necklace. I got a spare knife. Uh, I'm sorry though. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. About what? About your knife. Oh, right. My knife. <laughs> <laughs> I think this uh, person might have a few uh, problems. You can't make hats without a knife. You can't make hats without a knife? Hats? I make life-saving cloud shoes here. Or I did. Until you came along. I like her necklace. Just a big hanger. Uh, hanger? A big hammer just hanging around her neck. <laughs> hey, can I ask you about those weird guys down there? Uh, my husband and son. Uh, what did they do this time? Uh, I think they're going to hurt somebody with those sticks. Uh, I don't think those guys down there are working as hard as you. Uh, is that all of them? Uh, I don't think they're working as hard. I don't think they're, they're working at all, to be honest. I don't think those guys down there are working as hard as you are. Oh, I think they are, since I lost my knife. <laughs> Good point. Uh, you must be very proud. You must be very proud. Honey, I'm just trying to survive this phase, honestly. I wish he had just had an affair like most middle-aged men instead of dragging us all up here. <laughs> Is this like some sort of midlife crisis he decided to go up here? I think they're going to hurt somebody with those sticks. Oh, my husband would never do that. Harmony has rules against fighting here. Uh, Harmony? Harmony. Harmony Lightbeard, the supposed guru my husband followed up here. I think he's a nut, but I let my husband have his hobbies. <laughs> I want to find this Mr. Lightbeard. Is that all of them? Well, there's McGee, my teenager. Off with their head in the cloud somewhere. You know what I mean. Your husband is following a guru? He moved the whole family up here so we could study Harmony Lightbeard's philosophy of lightness. It's a midlife crisis thing. 
I'm just playing along. Okay, enough about your family. Oh, sorry. Was I going on about them again? We gotta, we gotta get that knife back then. If I say I'll let you get back well, to your work. I'll let you get back to your work. Ah, my work. And uh, can I give her my... Uh, I don't, do I not have the knife? I must have thrown it away when I... um. Must have thrown it away when uh, I was getting attacked by the mog. Um, can I go down and get it? If I just sort of go down in the clouds where it was, I could have a little look underneath there, see if it's falling down. My guess is that it hasn't. Ah, ah, I like this bird. This bird coming to save me every day. I like the way they're all wearing bird's nest as well. Quite a cool fashion. Let's have a look around then. I can go back and uh, speak to that lady later on if I if I need to, but there seems to be a, a few places around here that I can uh, head off to and explore. You can see Jessie in the background there, really guarding her um, <laughs> her, guarding her egg very carefully. Please place your offering into the bowls of enlightening. Uh, do you reckon I'm gonna have to get free eggs? Hi, are you? You may call me Fether. Oh, yes, excuse me, Father. No, Fether. Like a light, beautiful feather, but lighter. Harmony gave me that name. It's quite an honor. I love the way they just cut out random letters. From now on, you can call me Stupi. <laughs> what are you guarding here? I make sure that Brother Lightbeard's time is not wasted. He's a busy man, you know. So, you're Mr. Lightbeard's heavy? Hey, there's no call for personal insults. Is, it, is this the guy that was... That, that might have lost the, the egg then. No, that was Gus, wasn't it? It was Gus. Do you know where Gus went? He's got an egg I need. That one is struggling with the concept of lightness. He is yet to give up even a single letter in his name. He's worried people will think his name is Gas. <laughs> if you were to give up a letter from your names, what would it be? Think about your name now and just take out a random letter and try and say it out loud. <laughs> Quite a cool way to give yourself a nickname. Can I go up and see Mr. Lightbeard? All are welcome on Brother Lightbeard's cloud after they make an offering. Okay. This sounds like a, I don't know, a little bit of a ploy here. What kind of offering do I need to make then? What kind of offering? It's not the object that matters, but the thought behind it. Huh. Weird. Anything, I guess, then. I'm guessing the egg's got to be one of them, I reckon. I don't suppose there's a big ladder like this that goes down. Huh. <sighs> Last time I checked, most ladders go both directions. Can I just go up the ladder without making an offering? Brother Lightbeard gives you this opportunity to lighten your load for your benefit, not his. Uh-huh. I'll let you get back to work. Go in lightness, my friend. Okay, so I, I need to get free offerings. I'm assuming it's not going to let me get up the ladder yet because I've not made an offering. Can I go up that ladder? Yes, after you place an offering in the yeah, bowl. Yeah, 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 you said, right. So I need to get three things, and it's the thought behind it that counts. Just like all good presents. That's what I always say when I get someone a bad present. I can say, don't worry, I know the present's rubbish, but I thought of getting you a much better one. And it's the thought that counts. <laughs> there seems to be a ladder going a bit down here. Maybe I might be able to find the knife. Has the knife got stuck down here somewhere? Oh, I don't like this place. It's all like... Fake bird heads hanging off the wall. Do you reckon this is like some sort of witch? This woman doesn't look very happy. She's just here, hanging out. How's it hanging? <laughs> Good one. <laughs> she made she made the bad same pun as me. <laughs> so, uh, how's the view up there? I don't know. All I can see is my mother's disappointed face. Ooh, all right. Nice outfit though. I really like your outfit. Yeah, I liked it too. Not good enough, though, apparently. And on top of that, the shoes were too tight. Did you say something about shoes? Yeah, why? You need some? Take these. I don't need any. Hey, I got some cloud shoes. I guess I'm going to be able to walk I'm without... I'm going to sit here forever. Yeah, I guess I can walk now without falling through like all of the clouds. What are you doing down here? I'm an offering for the Maiden's Feast. You can't tell? Jeez, it's worse than I thought. Ah, uh, so she's basically doing what I did in the last video. She's going to be hanging out there. Sorry, bad joke again. Uh, waiting for the uh, the mug to appear uh, to get eaten. So, I don't know. Sucks to be her, I guess. <laughs> kind of shabby looking for a maiden's feast. Hey, I can't help the way I look. No, I mean the broken bird cages and feathers. Oh, yeah. Well, that's because the feast is over. Oh, she wasn't picked, was she? I forgot about that. 
Then I think the Maiden's Feast has already been here. Need help? A cleaning up? Why bother? Well, it's just kind of a mess down here. So am I. That's why I like it. So she's all upset uh, upset because the feast is over and she wasn't picked. She's upset because she wasn't eaten by a monster. Go, what a tough life. If the feast is over, what are you doing here? Rub it in, why don't you? I'm still here because I didn't get picked, okay? That's a good thing. Look on the bright side. You didn't get eaten by a monster. I'd rather do that than face my family right now. Who am I kidding? They've probably already jumped off a cloud in shame by now. I need to cheer this later, lady up. I was in a Maiden's Feast too. Just today, in fact. Oh, really? You didn't get picked either? Uh... I think if I say that, then she's going to be a bit more upset. So I'm going to say I didn't get picked. That might make her uh, feel a little bit better. A bit of camaraderie. Uh, yeah, I didn't get picked either. Probably because of that shabby dress. Oi! Hey! Sorry. <laughs> I only said that because I'm sad. And because it's all torn up and stuff. <laughs> I was there trying to make her feel better. She turns it straight back around to a dig at me. Uh, right, I think it's time we start fighting the monster. Hopefully I'm going to... She's going to... She's going to join me in my cause to battle the, the monk. Look, I think it's time we start fighting that monster. You're just going through that anger phase after not getting picked. That was me yesterday. Well... I'll leave you alone. Just like Mark Chathra did. I'm used to it. Oh, cheer up. You're not eaten by a monster. <laughs> uh, I'm not getting the logic of the people here. I got some shoes, though. Can I put the, the shoes on, I guess? Right, let me go back upstairs now and let me see if I can I can walk over the clouds. Maybe this is going to allow me to go to new places. If I go stand here, am I going to sink? Yay! Now I can walk in the clouds. I guess there's going to be some... Maybe I can speak to some of these birds. Let's go speak to this one over here. Don't take this personally, bird, but I gotta get out of here. Wanna give me a lift? No? I guess the, the birds aren't feeling very talkative. I like the way they're all twins. Like they're, they're exactly the same and they're exactly the same as well. I've not been over this way. I can have a look over here. Oh no, I just fell. Oh no. Did I just walk off the edge? I guess my, my cloud shoes aren't helping very well. Right, okay, let me try and be even more careful. I think if I double click uh, on the edge, it will just sort of take me straight over there. Ooh, this is a, a Hi, fancy looking I'm place. McGee. Mm, McGee! <laughs> I guess she's uh, still struggling to get used to, what's your name? to taking a, a letter out of her name. Let's say hello. Hey, what's up? <sighs> Nothing. Uh, what did you say your name was? What did you say your name was? McGee. It's Maggie, but without the A. My dad's idea. You should just take away the M, then it'll be Aggie. That's quite a cool name. Don't you mind that your dad took the A out of your name? Well, yeah, but my dad said, Hey, losing an A is better than losing an I. <laughs> <laughs> That's still pretty funny. Uh, your dad's pretty funny. <laughs> I love it when you, when like what you think is exactly the uh, the same. Uh, to be fair, I think your dad's pretty creepy though. Uh, I don't know where, whether I should say that though, because it is her dad. I'll say pretty funny. <laughs> your dad's pretty funny. He used to be. Before he joined this cult. Oh, whoops. Did I say that too loud? Yeah, I knew it was some sort of exploitation here. It's this, um... It's the, the, the big guy trying to get all the offerings. Your dad's in a cult? Ah, uh, he's just taking this lightbeard worship a little too far. But it's okay. At least it got him out of his line dancing phase. <laughs> he's definitely going through some sort of midlife crisis. What are you doing exactly? I'm taking care of these eggs. If it weren't for me, they'd, uh, get dusty or something. At least they're doing a good cause. At least they're helping out the birds. The birds don't seem to really mind. Oh, look, I just looked in the background. I just saw that gold egg. How do you get to the eggs in the high nests? Oh, because I'm so short, you mean? <laughs> no, I... Uh... I'm just messing <laughs> with you. I have a ladder. <laughs> I like this person. She's got a ladder on her back. I can just see it there. Can I borrow the ladder? I don't know why I need it, but I'm guessing I'm going to need it if I can ask for it. Hey, can I borrow your ladder? Mm, okay. Everyone's huh, just giving me that's stuff. That's awfully small. Hey, short things can surprise you, okay? True. There we go. Like I got some shoes and I got some ladders. At least I'm getting some stuff out of this. I'm getting more stuff than Lightbeard. Well, I'll leave you alone. <sighs> okay. Okay, well, hopefully, if I go over to here, I can use the, the ladder to get the golden egg. Uh, maybe if I go give that to Jesse, uh, the bird might help me out. So I can, um, yeah, maybe get off this get off this cloud place and get back to the 
uh, back to the, the cupcake town where I started. And uh, hopefully everyone's going to be okay and the monster hasn't gone crazy because I escaped. <laughs> anyway, that's about the end of this episode here. Uh, as always, I'm going to leave a link in the description to the next part of my Let's Play. Uh, yeah, once I've uploaded it. So if you look in the description, if it's there, click on it. And yeah, yeah you can go and see the, the next video. Uh, there's also going to be a link to a, um, uh, to a page where you can buy the game if you want to play it for yourself. Uh, if you buy it now, you'll also get uh, Act 2, uh, which is going to be coming out uh, later this year. And so, yeah, you get basically the, the full game. You get uh, one half now and then one half uh, a little bit later on in the year. And uh, I should be definitely uh, doing a Let's Play of uh, Act 2 when it comes out as well. So, uh, yeah, we've got that to look forward to in the future. Anyway, as I said, that's about the end of this video here. I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Goodbye!